All righty, we are going to cross the street now and finally get to, well, let me describe the scene for you now at the Minneapolis Convention Center. I am reading the signs of, I have to believe that this is uh, the organization from Kansas. I am going to ask you to have your children not listen right now because I'm going to read these signs word for word. So I would encourage you to have the kids uh, not listen. Or you should probably turn the radio dial because this isn't something that you want the kids to hear as I read the signs. Here we go. I just want to give you enough warning so that you turn the dial and not hear what these signs say. It says this, Fags wed, God blew up the shuttle, prepare to meet thy God, God hates fags, death penalty for fags, God hates America, thank God for September 11th. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop and take a breath right now because these things are just overwhelming. I suffer not a woman to preach, Matt Four years in hell. That would, of course, be referring to Matthew Shepard, who was brutally murdered four years ago. They seem to be happy about that. Have you not read? He made them at the beginning male and female, and he said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and cling to his wife. Jesus, Matthew 19.4. Be not deceived. A sodomite shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Your pastor is lying. Fag church, Episcopal sin, fags doom nations. Let's go talk to the people who are carrying those signs and see how they have arrived at their theology. This this is a woman who seems to be yelling. I think that I recognize this person's voice. Hi, may I talk to you on the radio? What's your name? My name is Todd. How's it going, Todd? Good. What's your name? Margie Phelps. Margie, you think that we should thank... I'm with AM980 KKMS. You're thanking God for September 11th. How How come? Well, first of all, he's a sovereign, so everything he does, his creatures are duty-bound to thank him. Second, this nation is in such a state of disobedience that he would have been justified on September 11 in killing everyone in the country. Instead, he gave him a fair warning shot. So do you think God is happy that people died in the Twin Towers on September 11? I think whether he's happy or not is an irrelevant question. He did it, and therefore it is perfect. Irrelevant or not, do you think he's pleased that people died on September 11th? You don't frame my phraseology. What he are, you, are you happy that people did, died on September 11th? Did, um, I'll say it again. I'm a creature formed by the Creator, and the Creator saw fit to have that event happen. He sent that terrorist, and he sent those planes. Rather than asking me these simplistic questions, what you should be doing is asking yourself and your listeners, why did he do it? What and could, perhaps you could share with me the Bible verse that led you to believe that God sends the planes to crash into buildings. Does a thing happen in the city and God didn't make it happen? Now there's an example of a verse. Or the passage where they came to Christ and said, that tower at Siloam just fell, what should we say? And Christ said you should say, do you think those people were sinners above you? Unless you repent, you will likewise perish. There's you a few verses, probably things you've never heard before. And you think that according to this sign, God hates America. Why do you think God hates America? No question he hates America. He's lifted his hand of blessing off this country. This country. What years did he have his hand of blessing on the country? Oh, then the interview's over. Thanks for talking to me. Okay. Because we are trying to get to uh, more tidy information, let's talk to this lady, maybe, who's carrying a sign that say, um, I'm trying to catch it. Libby. 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 Can I talk? Turn around. Hi. Do you, hey, could I just... Could I... Wait, oh, wait a second. I'm so curious. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm sorry. Could you say that again just so we can all hear it? The interview was over. You're deceitful and you're hateful, so be careful. All righty then. <laughs> and I have the professionalism of a gnat. All righty. Uh, may I ask you... Hi there. God blew up the shuttle. How do you know God blew up the shuttle? Because I know... Hey, you want to move that phone back a couple? Oh, can I, I'm sorry, what did you call it? A fa it's your phallus. Could you move it back out of my face a couple of seconds? It's, it, will, you, will you be willing to talk to me on the radio? Oh, most certainly. If you okay, well, i gotta, I got to put a little closer to your mouth so we can hear you talk like that. Okay, so you call it, why do you call this micro, what is obviously a microphone, a phallic symbol? Because of the way you just whipped it in front of my face just now. <laughs> That's not good. That's a whole lot of not good. Alrighty then, I'll just let you write your own material at home. God blew up the shuttle. How do you know that God blew up the shuttle? Because I know that God is a sovereign God, and so therefore, that's how I knew that God blew up the shuttle. But you want to know why he did that? 
you know, it, it, I have to confess, it seems like you're happy that things like that happen, and uh, I don't understand that. Okay, you want me to answer that question? Okay, I'm happy to answer that question because I'm happy with any of God, the providences of God as they unfold, but especially on a nation who, for since the day of my birth, I have seen them always make the wrong choice on every decision. First, they made the wrong choice when they discriminated against people. They did discriminate. So if, if I could summarize, you just don't like the way the country is, is going, so you think that God is doing this to correct the country? Fair enough? I, I know that they are that God is doing this because he hates this country because they have spit in his face. So are you happy when people die in a space shuttle or are you happy when people die in the Twin Towers? I'm, I'm as happy as happy can be. Do you think God is happy that people die in space shuttles and in the World Trade Tower? I know that he is happy and I know... What, what verse supports that thinking? Okay, I was about to tell you that because I knew where you were going with that. If you just read in the book of Psalms, Psalm 2-4... He says plainly, it says plainly that God laughs at them. He says he holds them in derision and that he laughs at them and he laughs at their calamity when such things as this happen. Do you think God is a loving God? He is loving, he is hateful, he is wrathful, and he is merciful. As a Christian, do you think that you get to be all of those things? I know that I am. So you as a Christian get to be hateful? I know that I. it's called a godly hate, not a hateful... A godly hate. Could you could you um, def- uh, identify the Bible verse that says that you get to hate with a godly hate? Well, I don't know specifically the exact citation, but I know that it's one in one of David's Psalms when he says, Do not I hate them, O God, do not I hate them that hate thee. I hate them with a godly hatred. And you think that applies to you, obviously? I do, if I have a hope that I am of God. Thank you very much. Hey, can I ask you a question? I'm a Christian. Do you love me? I need by your works to see whether or not the words that you say. What, uh, what type of works would pass your standard? For example, if you would um, be out here with us instead of standing here asking me mocking questions. So if I'm not w- standing out here holding a sign, you don't think I'm a Christian? At this, in this juncture, in this setting, that's correct, sir. Thanks very much. What, bi- what Bible verse says that I'm going to hell because I'm not out here picketing with you? Jesus Christ plainly said that if you are not with me, you are against me. If you gather not with me, you scattereth abroad. All righty. So, so do you think these are the only Christians in the Twin Cities who are going to heaven? Well, I know that these people right here with these signs, I know that that is an... Of course I don't know that because that's how come there's some reason for everything. And maybe one of the reasons I'm here with these signs is so that the true elect of God will see them on the news or whatever. So you don't think I'm elect? I don't, at this point, based on your works, believe that you are one of God's elect. That is so you think I'm going to hell, correct? I believe that the chance is pretty darn good that you're going to hell. And how does that make you feel? Just happy as a pig in slop, so to speak. Thanks very much. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, she's happier than pigs in slop. I'm going to hell. Well, uh, there's a problem with that, and the problem is what the Bible says. And the Bible says very clearly that anybody who is of God loves. And that didn't sound like love to me. Now, I'm grateful that she wants to see people get saved, but it seems that her attitude is contradicting what she really believes. And no sooner are no closer as hooters to being a family restaurant than that attitude is to being Christian.